Today we are making one of my favorite desserts, which is called lemon tart. And for the base, for the crust, we'll need to grab some flour and icing sugar. After that, we're going to transfer it into a fine mesh sieve and uh, motion our hands to get all of the flour and sugar underneath. Now we're going to grab some butter and uh, mix it into the mixture. As soon as we have finished, we're going to add raw egg yolk and one hard boiled egg yolk. The egg yolk needs to be grated to a fine grater. I'm also adding some vanilla extract to add some nice vanilla flavor. We're going to mix everything once again and also I'm going to add some salt along the way because salt brings out all of the nice flavors that we have already added. As you can see, now I can form a basic shape out of my dough, and that's a good sign for us. After kneading the dough for some time, we can see a nice rounded shape. I'm going to wrap it up in some plastic wrap and uh, chill it in the fridge for 20 to 30 minutes. Now it's ready to be rolled up. A good method for rolling the pastry is going only into one side and rotating the dough along the way. After rolling the dough, you can transfer it into your baking dish. We also need to poke the dough with a fork a little bit to prevent the crust from puffing up too much. Then we place the baking dish into the freezer to chill for 20 minutes and then we bake it into the oven for 20 to 30 minutes and the results may be seen here. And then the second part of the recipe is making a lemon curd, which basically consists of grating the lemon zest uh, then we shall take a lemon and squeeze the juice out of it so that we would have about 160 grams of juice in total. Then we shall add some eggs, egg yolks, and then we shall mix it all together. After that we're going to add some sugar. lemon juice and mix it all together. Now I'm going to transfer it onto my double boiler. From that moment we're supposed to whisk everything constantly. After whisking everything for a minute we're going to slowly add some butter. And after that, uh, maybe after five minutes, we can see a thickened uh, sauce. We will now transfer it into the another bowl, which has sour cream in it. And we're also mixing it together. Now the base looks good and we can transfer it onto our tart shell.
The dish needs to chill in the fridge for about two or three hours. The last step is very optional. I have piped out some meringue dots on the top of my tart shell and now I'm going to baste it with my blowtorch to make it uh, look like a marshmallow so that it would have a nice bite uh, to it. The end result may be seen here. 